Hey, um, how did your stand-up show go recently? Really well. Sorry, is that what you say, stand-up show? Or your, yeah, what, yeah, my your, recording. Yeah, because it was, uh, well, explain to people like me who aren't familiar with this. You, you have to work on content for a long yes. period of time, and then you do a new set, mm -hmm. and it so was you, recorded. So you spend a long time writing. You write an hour. You perform it. It takes you sometimes years to nail down and get, like, timed correctly and well done and all the laughs you want in there and and it's written right and then you record it and now you're back to square zero or square one whatever how are they say it square zero one <laughs> again i'm the muscle guy apparently <laughs> i'm not even that good at it i gotta get bigger so um yeah it's just uh, uh so yeah you you do that and so i wrote an hour i've been touring on it for like a year and a half and it was time to record and so i nailed it down and i went and recorded it um at dry bar in provo utah for vid angel the people who own the the company or whatever and it was great it went really well i messed up like once or twice no one noticed but you filmed two shows so if you mess up oh, on that's one gotta be nice you get the other one and then you kind of blend them together to make the best version just of mentally your knowing that that's the case must be wonderful it's incredible although I, I, they're like why does everyone in the front row look different <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. One show. <laughs> it is funny because they cut to different laughter, and you can tell that the crowds are different. But like, no one really no says one anything. Know. I notice, but no one would. Know um, it went well. I was really happy with it. It's a little different than anything I've done. So. I went uh, as my specials have as I've grown as a comedian I've just like stepped into what I want to do mm -hmm. which is tell long stories that are like far away from things other comics are doing different experiences not just like the stuff people tread you know the the typical like sex and relationships or like this is what my kids are up to I think there's a lot of good stuff and I'll probably eventually do some but I'm trying to do weirder stuff that people haven't heard so this recent special i talk about like my childhood in the very small town like bringing a gun to elementary school for show and tell <laughs> what? yeah 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 you and actually did yes that? yeah so i have a whole bit about that and i get taken to the principal's office and the principal has my back because it's the smallest town ever <laughs> We had this like teacher from California that's like, you know, when like uh, a lady is so progressive that she becomes racist. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. She's like one of those, like the <laughs> sweetest lady that means well, but just like so bad at being like the like she's from California. She moved to the boonies yeah. to like help poor trailer people. She's like a white lady with dreadlocks and her weird, really colorful dresses with patches sewn into them. I remember her. She's really sweet. But she, I had a, I just like pulled a gun out for show and. <laughs> Tells her to pointing it at people, you know, and she was just like not having it. She took it to the principal's office, and then so I do jokes about that, and then <laughs> then I get I do that, and then I get wilder. I tell like one of the craziest stories I've ever told on stage for recording, which is the story of my brother setting someone on fire <sighs> in a fight. That's pretty crazy, and it sounds like mortifying, but I do make it funny, and the people are fine ish whatever they're alive do you sometimes fear that people think you're making these up so yes they're so outlandish 100 percent. so i have um i tell a ghost story that's the majority of my set is a ghost story i the set starts in my childhood leads up to my brother doing that very crazy thing in that fight and then i say I and he's not even the craziest person in my family hears about my mother and i tell a story about my mother knocking a dog unconscious and then we, <laughs> we go dogs again <laughs> yeah yeah i know sorry <laughs> i this is a crazy good episode of your cat person you're just like yes these people get it i have a dog everybody i love dogs okay um so your mom knocked a dog on. i want to make you yeah, tell yeah, us in yeah. case they should watch this oh show, yeah but. the dog trust me when you see the if you Go watch the special and you'll be like, oh, she was right. But <laughs> I promise you. And then um, a lot of the joke is me saying that and then addressing how awkward the crowd becomes. That's a big oh, part of the yeah. joke because the crowd is so like, ooh. And then I, I make them realize that like you're acting on emotion. You're not thinking about it because yes. there are lots of reasons to to oh, stop a dog. I could think at least 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, and then we go into <laughs> my mother's into hunting ghosts. That's her main hobby. That's she's crazy. obsessed with the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's from a total scientific perspective. There's no like you have weird to get her on spirituality. Yeah, none of that. She's 100% just 
evidence-based, interested in whatever ghosts may be. And so she's, it's pretty fun. And so um, she invites me and my brother to go ghost hunting with her once. And we had like a crazy experience and it was really silly and goofy. But I tell that ghost story and I have a recording of a ghost whistling at us but i swear in the recording because i'm scared <laughs> so i couldn't play it but i usually play it when i do the stand-up i tell the story and then in the middle of the story i go do you guys want to hear a real recording and everyone is obviously down and i play the real recording for them and so i was hoping you can't to, because this is dry i bar. couldn't do it on yeah. dry bar so i was like people aren't gonna believe this but i have a recording but i i swear in it and so i was when like was i can't play recorded? it how this was like mm, three years ago. Do you explain okay. that in this case? Could you please explain to us? Sorry. Yeah, no, please. Well, please explain to us. You don't have to make it funny. Yeah, but yeah. can you tell us how on earth this happened three years ago and what happened? Yeah. So my uh, me and my brothers give my mom a lot of grief. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.